What's going on everyone? It's your boy Evan, aka Ponzo, and today we got a very special topic that we are covering today, and that is what happened last weekend, the Great Eagle Arts and Crafts Fair. This was an event that was definitely a very big surprise for me. To give a little bit of context, moved out to Gray Eagle, California, this very small mountain town up in Northern California, about an hour west of Reno and about two and a half hours northeast of Sacramento. Definitely see that tourism population during the summertime doubles to about triples the amount of people that actually are in the town. So to see the so many people inside the town was a little bit scary. I'm not used to see being around all these different people, but it was also very refreshing because um, small towns like ours that very much heavily rely on tourism during the summer months was heavily affected by COVID last year. So uh, seeing the amount of bounce back that this type of fair was able to give the community help spur the economy a little bit in our town uh, was really awesome and refreshing and just was a excellent time just hanging out and um, sitting on a porch and you know just having a beer and enjoying the warm weather it was a really really fun weekend and i'm super 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 excited to talk about the art fair yo yo, yo editor can you uh you roll some of that footage and speed it up of us walking around the art fair. But yeah, it, it's just really am amazing to me that vendors from all around the state and even the country would come to our small town you know some of the vendors came from sacramento and more southern california all the way to even like reno and oregon it's so heartwarming to see that they are taking this chance to sell their stuff in our small town and have success with it and with all the vendors coming from all around it even attracted a wider reach of people to come tourist to our town like i even met people from ohio that went to my same college, University of Dayton, which, I mean, it's just so awesome. With all that being said, I think I would take this time to talk about my three favorite things that came out of this arts and crafts fair. The first thing I wanted to talk about is the food that was for sale there. Having such a small event, I did not expect any food to be there. And with that came first this awesome food truck from Truckee, California a stand where they sold just these jumbo onion rings and zucchini fries and even delicious corn dogs and also a few other mom and pop stands like uh this place where that sold this incredible beef jerky and with all this food i definitely had to splurge and get some of the stuff and i have some of the stuff right here to show you sierra nevada ranch is this beef jerky you can see it right there. Some delicious beef jerky, some beer flavored beef jerky. The beer isn't super overwhelming, but it has a very nice salty and garlicky type taste that really enhances the flavor of the beef. Also wanted to give a shout out to Primo's Gourmet Food Company. My brother bought a couple of these spices, some Santa Maria and sweet grill and garlic spices. I'll definitely be featuring these rubs in a future video where I am actually going to, you know, rub some chicken, rub, rub some steak down with this, maybe even some pork chops. I think this would be really good with pork chops, and then even throwing them on a Traeger grill or a propane grill and doing a little bit of grilling. I also bought this Sky Lake Ranch based out of Chico, California. Uh, I wanted to get some normal pepper or some normal pomegranate jelly, but this is some pomegranate pepper jelly. It's actually pretty spicy. It's about a six out of 10 for spice. He used habaneros and jalapenos inside the jelly to help enhance the flavor. And it's 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 really nice. It'll go super well on some toast that I'll eat later today. Uh, super sweet at the beginning and then a nice spicy finish at the end. Wanted to give a huge shout out to Mixed Menu Food Truck out based out of Truckee, California. They were probably the vendor that we ate at the most over the weekend, and they had some really awesome stuff. 
Uh, my favorite things that I got from there were the kimchi fried rice, the smoked pork belly sliders, both just absolutely incredible. The pork belly had a very nice smoky uh, flavor to it, and the kimchi fried rice was nice, savory, and a little bit of funky to the kimchi. Delicious, delicious food. I also saw some fried chicken tandoori sandwich which sounded absolutely insane i didn't get it just because you know i wasn't hungry super like all the time there but definitely would have been something that i would have suggested to get because man does that sound good so that was the first thing the food was definitely a big surprise to me but the second thing that i was very much blown away i know it's an arts and crafts fair but you guessed it the art and craft selection that was present at the fair was absolutely insane. Me being a huge anime nerd, I my heart was very much warmed when I walked around the fair and saw that there was a Naruto Shippuden painting. There was also this lady who made uh, these wood prints. So shout out to Danny's Wood Design. You can see her information there. She's based out of Sacramento, California, and I bought this, uh, as you can see, this Attack on Titan print that is printed onto wood, and it's just super awesome wall decor. There was people who were doing stained glass and wire wrapping and even handmade jewelry. It was really cool to see what they had to offer and how much talent is in this local radius or local arts and crafts community that spans not only in Grey Eagle, but even goes all the way out to Sacramento. So that was really, really interesting. The best thing of the whole weekend to top it off, my favorite thing to see this weekend was definitely the La Sierra Designs Art Gallery. I know, I know it might seem a little biased because, oh, my brother's a part owner of the gallery, but I, I promise you, even though that is the case, the type of artwork that La Sierra Designs had to offer versus the rest of the the rest of the art fair, uh, it was in a different league. It, it was just in a different league. No one was cutting. No one had super awesome custom cut gemstones. No one had this amazing jewelry that was for sale. Sure, they have some crystals that they're drilling holes through, but. They also had free face painting, Grey Eagle's Best Lemonade, custom jewelry, all just amazing displays and had so much foot traffic and so much uh, support for the newly opened gallery, which was uh, very refreshing to see, very heartwarming to know that uh, the business venture of us starting out here really started with a good omen. So. In a future video, I will be making a sort of a promo of like the storefront, the store floor, everything, all of the inventory that we have in our cases, pretty much the whole nine that covers the Lost Year Designs Art Gallery. So uh, if you are, definitely be sure to subscribe so that you can catch, you know, make sure that you don't miss any of these videos that I talked about throughout the videos. So in summary, I just wanted to commend the town of Grey Eagle for the huge success that the town had through the arts and crafts fair. Sure, the locals do offer a quite a bit of economic support, but where we really boom is through the types of tourism that these events bring. That gives me a little bit of hope that things are starting to go back to normal and just want to say how happy i am with that so um, with all that being said thank you so much for tuning in and listening to me ramble about my favorite things about the arts and crafts fair um, if this is something that you liked please be sure to leave a like uh, down below and leave a comment if you agreed or disagree were you there at the art fair it'd be really helpful if you left a like and commented those things because it helps my video help viewers similar to you and helps my channel grow and if you do want to see any of the future videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But um, yeah, next va next next video will be me probably showing off the gallery and a vlog of me learning to cut my first gemstone. So uh, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching me and I will see you in the next video.